Hello Rebels, it's Krithik here from IT Rebels and today in this video we'll be covering uh, HTML, uh, CSS properties uh, as, as we have left uh, from our previous video. Uh, let's look at CSS uh, properties like CSS color, background color, background, border, margin, padding, height and width in CSS, box model of CSS and outline. So in this video we will be covering all of this. Let's move on to our uh, VS Code editor and create a, a container. First we have, will be seeing how can we use CSS colors. So now it's look uh, it's empty completely empty. So let's see how can we use CSS. Uh, let's give a back, background color to our content. To give a background color to an element, the pro uh, CSS property is called background color. Then background color should be uh, a valid color like blue, red, B L U E blue. Uh, we have given a background color of the, uh, to uh, our content, but we have never uh, given some content inside it, so it uh, it have a height of zero, so which is nothing. So let's give us some content inside here. H E L L Hello Rebels R E P E L S five five zero zero. So it has a background color here, which is good, uh, which we want. Black text on blue background is not looking good. So let's change a background uh, color of that text. So we can just change the color of the text using C O L O R color. Mm, white save it and let's see on browser so it's now it is now white and which is looking good uh, but there is one thing like we have uh, some extra mar white spaces around our element so to remove that uh, we can use uh, a global uh, we already seen the selector like uh, this type of selector in our previous video called uh, universal selector uh, we we can just give a ma we can reset the properties like margin and padding margin zero pixel px uh, and padding p a d d i padding of zero pixel of that uh, universal selector so th this will make uh, th this will remove that extra space around them so now let's learn about how this margin padding works let's say margin and padding we are giving margin to this content content uh, contain uh, text of hello rebels so let's give margin to this margin of 100 pixel px okay let's save it and see so we added some extra spaces around this element and which is what we want and let's continue with our padding let's give a padding to this element p a d d i padding of 100 pixel 100 pixels let's save it and see the result so padding uh, we have when we have given a padding to our element it's create an m uh, some spaces around this text uh, but inside this element of content and margin works outside the element and padding works inside the element so it uh, this uh, the difference between padding and margin uh, i think it is cleared margin works outside the element and padding works inside the element if you want to create some extra space around the element then you you must use margin but if you want to create a padding uh, some space inside the element then you must uh, use padding now uh, if you uh, there is something called border uh b and border can be like 10 pixel solid and then the, we have to provide a color let's say red or yellow yellow so we have provided a border of 10 pixel around this html element uh, of ye color yellow so border uh, it, as we can see the layering of this part is like first uh, it comes uh, like content and then uh, some padding then border and then margin so this is what a box model looks like uh, if you see here css box model 
so this is what a box model is there is content in inside and after that content comes padding and then border and margin but there is one more thing uh, af uh, after the border is like out outline outline is similar to border let's copy this and paste and instead of yellow let's say red 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 and outline is sim very similar to border but it comes after the border so if you want to make double uh, border like yellow and red uh, like this uh, what we i have created right now you can use this type of border and outline combination so this is the complete box model you can also inspect uh, it and see on the uh, in your chrome browser uh, you will see the content padding border and margin so this is uh, how we can use box model let's see uh, how the all these thing works so background color uh, you can give a color uh, you can use color this uh, in very different ways but how do you know uh, if the color is exist or not like I, if uh, I want to use teal, there is a color called teal, T E A R T E A R T. Okay, it's available. But what if uh, I know some color, but it's not exist here? So how to add those? There are some ways you can add color, uh, like using normal colors, tomato blue, sea green. There are so many colors available uh, inside HTML, but what we developer prefer is using RGB or hex. Let's learn what is hex. So hex color is we use uh, hex color because it contains all the colors. Uh, you, we can provide all the color by this combination. Uh, see the uh, first two is for red. Uh, hex color is a six digit uh, six. Uh, character uh, hexadecimal color so the first two represent for red if you change uh, 0 uh, to ff we it will change according to red spectrum and second one is for green uh, the second two color using these three combination we can provide uh, we can create any color so we don't uh, buy hard these things and we just uh, uh, use something like fff for white and uh, 0, 0, 0 for black and then uh, we you we can just uh, copy and paste uh, some good color palette from internet uh, or from photoshop uh, file like phd or some uh, template figma file uh, you uh, every developer use this uh, photo uh, hexadecimal colors uh, for their development so this uh, colorhunt.co is a good website to find best color plate available uh, to be, uh, to include in your website design let's continue what is rgb rgb is very similar to uh, this uh, hexadecimal color but and uh, there is no uh, no such a uh, differentiability uh, just we write uh, uh, the only thing is different is like how we write this so everything is similar you can just change your teal to some different color uh, inside vs code you can just change this uh, how it is working uh, if you want red yellow orange blue you can just change uh, how it you want how what color you want so this is how uh, c color works in css now continue with background property so background uh, color, color is one of the background properties so there are so many background properties like background image background position background height background uh, size background repeat so many different things so what uh, let's see what this thing do so first thing well, first we will add some background image let's comment this out and add some background image b a c k background image then provide a url and then give it a link uh, let's provide a link of an image uh, this look good let's say copy copy open image in new tab then jpeg okay copy this then give this 
uh, an image uh, save it and see how it looks as you can see uh, the image is uh, now added inside our element so what should we do with this image it's not looking great so there are some background properties like background position center center which means uh, we will be using uh, this part from center and from center so we will seeing this part right now as you can see here so we can just uh, add center left l e f t left and you will be seeing this from center and then left from center and then left you will be seeing this right now uh, top left t o p top left so this is the right way top left bottom left v o t t o m bottom left there are so many ways you can add this uh, and arrange your images but uh, there are something like background let's say uh, it's position center center and then background size p a c k background size background size should be cover uh, if you want to display the whole uh, image and then uh, we have added cover or you can just use content uh, contain c o n t a i n contain to contain the whole image but if you don't want to repeat image uh, so you can use background repeat b a c k background b a c k background repeat no repeat or you if you want to just repeat on x axis so repeat replace this repeat with repeat x so it will just repeat on x axis if you just want to repeat on y axis so repeat on y it will be very handful if you want to create something like this i have a background pattern inside my uh, portfolio so i added a small png of that pattern and uh, it's repeating itself uh, continuously so this is how you can use this type of images now uh, let's learn about how to uh, add height and width of the content right now this uh, element is only taking uh, that text form so let's change the height and width of this element height will be 100 pixels px let's change content to cover cov here cover and repeat to no repeat no repeat and save it so height is not looking good let's change height to 500 pixels and i think it will be great looking good but top and center will be looking good top t o p top and center okay so this will look great but what if we want then we can just give with w i d t h width is equals to 500 pixels so width is equals to 500 pixels let's see okay this look great so we have used this and there is text in about uh, on this container and it look really good right now let's change this content to an heading h1 h1 and hello rebels so now it's good looking good, great and we can add, we have added some text and content for our channel let's see how what are the other ways to customize all of this element what we have learned yet let's summarize everything so we have already seen colors and there are so many uh, ways to add colors like rgb and hexadecimal and uh, that is enough for the colors and we can use color property in css to add color uh, for your text and links and icons uh, so you can use colors for them and there are background properties like background position background uh, attachment background repeat background image background color and so many things uh, there is one more thing like uh, if you want to use background uh, image and want to provide an overlay on that image so how to use that uh, so you can just uh, replace this background image to background and then uh, use linear gradient 
linear gradient linear gradient uh, and provide a degree uh, like uh, which degree you want to like from uh, straight from bottom to uh, top or from a uh, little bit from angle uh, provide an angle like d e g r e degree uh, sorry d e g this this will be great good d e g degree then a color uh, from gradient like from f f f f f from white to black this is how you can add your linear gradient uh, for your background images right now it's completely uh, uh, solid colors but if you want some transparent you can just hover on that color hover on the those and drop your color transparency so which will be better for you and you can just do this so it's look really great and this is how you can use your you you can you just use this uh, complete transparent also so white is completely transparent so the image will be like this but uh, your text will be uh, visible on every image right now so this is how you can add linear gradient and uh, in using background properties so background have a shorthand called background and you can use color image no repeat position like right and top uh, but uh, it's in just one go so this is very handful if you want to uh, use sh shorthand properties but I prefer this way because uh, it gives more uh, information about what I am doing. So I use this, but you can just use this for your to write something very fast. So you can just use this. And if you want to include some uh, images from your own CSS uh, own folder, you can uh, change these images from my local file csl.png and you can see here boom hello rebels it's spun bob here okay now let's continue for with other uh, we have learned about border and border is for creating giving a border to something uh, some element so there are so many different ways to add border like border dotted like instead of solid you can add border dotted so if you will get this type of result dotted border and if you want border to, to uh, dashed you can give this border border solid border double border groovy all use this classes border groovy red inset outset and inset is look inset look like this outset look like this and there if you don't want any border let's say border none border solid replace the solid with a none and any none so it there will be no border or if you want to uh, hide something hidden so h i d d yeah, hidden so it's like border ha uh, there will be border of 10 pixel but it will be hidden so it will not displayed so which is not we don't want this we only use border solid dashed or dotted so this is how we can use border and there is a border property called border, border uh, radius uh, it, it help us to g give a smooth border uh, at the round, uh, rounded edges uh, so use border radius property to uh, make something rounded now let's see css margin we have already seen margin box outside the element so if you want to give a margin or outside the element use margin property of anything uh, but margin property uh, using you can use margin top uh, like margin bottom margin right margin left but if you want some shorthand property if you want to use shorthand property uh, then you can use margin then 20 uh, top uh, right bottom left sometimes many people confuse us uh, in this uh, so let me show you how can you remember 
so margin works uh, like this from top then right bottom and left by using this clockwise uh, clockwise uh, if you go in this clockwise direction css works like this top first uh, put the value of the top uh, margin uh, then right then bottom then left similarly on padding also uh, padding also uh, the same concept is applied like from top pa padding top right bottom left so have, and uh, you can use border also uh, use this in a border also like uh, in border you can give uh, border in various direction like border style is equals to top dotted right dash solid and double similarly uh, you can see here top is dotted right is dashed then solid then double height and weight you can give height and weight uh, in to an element uh, but there are so many ways to give an height and weight like i used pixels but there are some ways like you can use rem m auto uh, some uh, vh in just few minutes we will see how to add pix what is the difference between pixel width and uh, uh, pixels percent ram and other things so we have uh, seen that uh, what is box model what is css box model and the complete view of css box model like uh, tag content padding uh, border then outline then margin and uh, outline is very similar to border and it it comes after the border everything is similar as you can see here see this okay with this uh, we have completed our today's agenda uh, to learn the basics of css and how to use uh, css properties like css color css background css border margin padding height width and box model outline so thanks for watching and please subscribe our youtube channel it rebels and see you next time